Batting third, the designated hitter, number 22, Andrew McCutcheon. Beautiful day for opening day here in Pittsburgh. Rich Hill, the uh, veteran left-hander, he is the oldest player in baseball. And this Pirates group, as I talked with Pedro Grifol, is interesting. They've got a lot of young, prospecty type guys. But they also brought in some veterans like Hill, Carlos Santana, and the return of Andrew McCutcheon. And the left-hander sent to work to Tim Anderson. And there's a line shot out toward the alleyway in left center. And it's going to bounce off the track, then the wall. And Tim's got a leadoff double. What a great way to start off this day offensively for the White Sox. Maybe get on the board here early against Rich Hill. That brings up Andrew Vaughn, the first baseman. Here's a 1 0. And a swing and a ground ball to short. That's going to get the run home with the infield back. Cruz will throw it on to first and give Vaughn a run batted in. And the White Sox open with a 1 0 lead. Lucas Giolito going to the mound against a team that he no hit. He's 1 0 lifetime against him. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming home number 22, Andrew. No, he's beloved in this city, and he's a good man to have on a ball club. He's always been great in the locker room. He's always been great on the bench. He's a very smart player, and with all the youngsters on his Pittsburgh team, they needed an Andrew McCutcheon, and he is the Andrew McCutcheon. He's back. McCutcheon on his return and opening day and what I consider to be his home here. It is so surreal, so incredible. That he is back. It just doesn't happen in the sports. So rare. And he, he made the call. He reached out via text to the owner, Bob Nutting, over the winter. Said he would like to return. What a moment. <laughs> what a moment. There's a ground ball. Base hit in the right field for number 22. Of course. You can't make this stuff up. You just can't make this stuff up. You don't have chills and you're at this ballpark or watching this game. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> check your check your pulse. You know that Santana will take a walk. He's Santana drive to deep right field. Carlos Santana ties the game at one apiece. Pachuca. It's 1-1. One, one. Well, as I mentioned earlier, Brownie, there's a hanging changeup right there. And one thing I know as a left-handed hitter in this ballpark, hanging changeups that stay in the middle of the zone, even when you ride them out. 2-0 on Bay, who hit his first career home run at Fenway. Shot off the glove of the diving second baseman into right center field. Andrews couldn't flag it down. Bay flies into second base with a double. 2-1 Pirates. That brings up Robert with a man on and one out. He lined a second in his first at bat. This ball lifted to center field. Sawinski is back. He's at the track and the wall. It is gone. This game flips again. Luis Robert Jr. A two run shot. Well you can look for a big year from Luis Robert. That's his third home run. He drives in a pair giving him five. And Tim Anderson will score his second run of the ball game when he gets on near the start of the inning. Jake Berger in the air to left field. This is tattooed and Berger goes deep here in Pittsburgh. Two two run homers this inning and the Sox have a five to two lead. Jake Berger has been tattooing the baseball. This is a rolling curveball. Rich Hill we talked about it early. He didn't have a whole lot of spin on the breaking ball in the early going. It hasn't come to him yet. But the Sox have come to him. They take another one well out of the yard. Behind it the count one and two. And the pitch. McCutcheon swings and lines one into left center. That's down for a base hit. McCutcheon is two for two. I've seen Andrew do the same thing with two strikes his entire career. Stay in the middle of the field. There's a lot of hits in that part of the, of the ballpark. Keep the chain moving. Tying run at the plate with nobody out. And this ball hit hard to center field. On the run is Robert. And that's going to drop in for extra bases for Hayes. And Mike Rabella will hold McCutcheon. Reynolds scores. 5 3 Sox, home fourth. G1 Bait tries to bunt his way on. Look at him go. And he is out. Wow, is that close? Might check this one. This will be a bunt hit. 
What a job by Bay. The bunt has become a pirate this weapon. Challenging the outcall at first base. After review, the call has been overturned. The runner is safe. Baseball retains the challenge. So that brings up the catcher delay. And he hits a liner to right, and it's down for a hit. Colas will pick it up, but not before Bay's going to make third. And they are threatening again. Infield at double play depth. Cruz at the plate. And a fly ball to center. Coming in, and the ball drops. RBI Cruz <laughs> scoring Bay. Five to four. And Brian Reynolds batting. Bucks on the pond. Delay at second. Cruz at first. Cruz runs exceptionally well. Reynolds would prefer to allow them to trot. Here's the 1 0. Swing, fly ball, center field. Robert back to the wall. And there it goes! Brian Reynolds hits a three run home run. And on opening day in Pittsburgh, the Pirates have retaken the lead. That's baseball's home run leader, Brian Reynolds. That's just a middle away change up, and the guy as good a hitter as Brian Reynolds. He knows. Knows his power, knows his strengths. It's three and two on Robert. Swing and a drive. Deep to right field. Way back there. And gone. It's a home run. He just got it over the railing. And it's a two-run shot, and we're tied. Two on, third hit one out, and Jason DeLay is coming up. Round ball. That's a thing of beauty. He's three for three. And gives the Pirates an 8-7 lead. Bases full of Pirates with one down here in the fifth. Line drive right field. Get down. It does. Oh, baby. This scores one, two. And here comes Cruz flying. Reynolds in the third. Trip, trip, triple. He'll score. Wow. Welcome back, Buckles. Oh, the crowd loves it. Look at these folks. A bases clearing triple, a little league homer. Call it what you will, but wow. Pitching to Brian Reynolds is a bad idea. It is 12 7 Pirates. We're in the fifth inning. <laughs> One out in the eight that brings up Connor Joe. And Connor Joe to right center field. Look at Connor Joe have a day. A double. A ribby. A four hit home opener for Connor Joe. Three of them doubles. 13 7. Here's Oscar Colas. Swinging a blast in the air deep to center field, and that baby will go into the bullpen. First career homer, Oscar Colas. That was a beautiful swing by Colas. The 0-2 coming. Base hit to center. Tim's going to head around third. And the throw is late. And it's now 13-9. Five RBI day for Luis Robert Jr. And certainly Will Crow prefer to get a ground ball here and get out of it. Raise the Jolly Roger with a punch out. Yeah. Sit down. And the Pirates prevail on opening day in Pittsburgh. They beat the White Sox 13 to 9. The Pirates have won four in a row. And don't look now, but the battle and Bucks are 5 and 2.